Hey guys, what is going on? This is Ip of HQ TV casting the SC2CL Clan Wars. We have Dignitas versus MYM, standing for Meet Your Makers. Murs is spawning as the Yellow Talon from Team Dignitas. This is game number one. And we do have Moon uh, Mon Dragon spawning as the Red Zerg from Team uh, MYM, that is Meet Your Makers. Mon Dragon does spawn in the 12 o'clock position of Shadow Temple, while Murs is spawning in the 9 o'clock and this game was going on during the TSL, and uh, apparently Murs cannot watch it. Was trying to get a nice cup of coffee, but uh, apparently this does take priority. We do have uh, Murs going to build that one supply depot. Doesn't wall off. His SV wasn't quite here yet, so he decided, you know what? I should just get a supply depot. No fear, though. I have seen Terran players start not walling off, namely DDE. When he does this, he goes with a leaper opener into some bunkers by the Zerg player's base and doesn't let them leave his base, uh, leave their base and get to his base, so he doesn't need a wall. Then he'll expand when it is safe. We have that supply depot now just finishing. Gonna throw down a 12 vax, most likely. After the supply, oh, whoa, what is Moose doing? Bayrock's going down here. Maybe he's going to wall himself in at the bottom of the ramp. I saw this a long time ago back in beta. They made it a little bit harder to wall in. And I think that Bayrock should be placed a little bit over here if he's planning on doing that. Or up here and finish it off with a tech lab right here. Really not sure of what Moose is doing. And one interesting thing about this when you try to, uh, oh, maybe he's just going to wall this area. Really no idea. He is doing a two-axe attack so well. Doesn't really need a wall off since he's going to be putting a lot of pressure. Mondragon is getting his hatchery, but as I was saying, kind of interesting on this, how the Terran plays, the positions really do matter because, well, if you want to wall off up here, his tech lab fits nice and snug behind his wall. And if he's on another position, well, the tech lab would have to be part of his wall. So, kind of odd how positions do take effect on how Terran players will wall off. But we have Murs just like, eh, no wall, let's just go this whole way, may get another barracks or a bunker, I'm not sure exactly what, and wall this whole area off, and that is pretty ac good actually, that leaves him to take three bases, as a Terran you can safely expand towards your opponent, if you have a huge wall off here with barracks, factories and whatnot, you can easily defend this with a few units, come up here. Start taking these rocks out and do a push down, and this is much like the push on Shakur's Plateau, except you're going into the natural instead of into the main. Can do a lot of damage. It's pretty hard for Zergs to defend. Most of the time, they'll just swing around and try to attack the front of your base, but again, it is a walled off with big production facilities. We do have three Marines out, and there are three drones waiting to try to stop those SCVs from throwing down the bunkers. One SCV is going, two Marines are here, the third one is joining, and they're going to try to deny Mon Dragon from. Killing off this SCV, it doesn't look like he will be able to. He is just getting a spine collar back here. These Marines should start tugging the spine collar, weaken it, but they're going straight for the drones, and he is going to get a few drone kills. It looks like he's already got two. More Marines are coming. This looks actually pretty bad for a Mondragon. Floating an Overlord here, but there are enough Lings where I don't believe the Marines will get a chance. They go by this middle patch, preventing the Lings from getting us down, doing as much damage as possible. We have the bunker now complete. The spine collar is compl uh, just about complete. But Mondragon has enough lings where he can hold this off fairly well. We do have four drones that have gone down. The worker count now is 13 drones to 18 SCVs. We have a command center going up and an orbital command is out. Lings trying to stop these marines from attacking their spine color while it is burning. Taking some hits. A lot of micro coming between Murs and Mondragon. And that was a loot. Don't know what that is. But we do have a spine call up from Mondragon. The SCV was coming up here. Mondragon did take it out before it got too much scouting. I believe. Uh, maybe it did get up and see most of it was on its way back out when it got killed. Not 100% sure. We do have a few Marines just poking around. Link saying, no, you cannot attack my mineral line again. Another spine call going up. And actually it looks like he's just dealing damage to the hatchery. Two more Marines are coming. And meanwhile, we do have both gases up for Murs. The second base is almost up. And Murs has a lot of Marines attacking this hatchery. Still not going to go down easily. Lots of Lings are out. They could possibly get this round soon. No uh, speed on the way for Mondragon as he doesn't have gas. A lot of Lings now take out these Marines. And this bunker still has the four. But these spine callers can outrange the bunker and deal quite a bit of damage. There we go. One is poking away. Murs is going to salvage that bunker. And the spine callers are just going to move up. Now we do have uh, the first gas for Mondragon being built. And lots of Marines falling back, going to try to 
kind of complete this wall, make it less open for the links to run through, which will let the minions do a lot more damage. We do have one link from Monjagan coming along. Still no speed as he doesn't have that 100 gas yet. He's at 34 out of 36 food while the tan player is at 35 out of 46. The Ling is poking in, sees exactly what is going down. We have another BX queued up to be built. And this World of Command is done, now lifting off, did throw down that one mule. We do have double factories actually coming out from Mo, so it looks like he may just go into standard tank marine after this. And what do we have Mondragon doing? Has the second gas now going up? Isn't getting his lair tech just yet? Is he going to get Zergling speed anytime soon? I have to say this looks very, very good for Murs right now. 30 drones to 27 SEVs. Both players are now on two bases. Murs has a slight economical lead even though he has less harvesters. He has the mules to make up, but now 35 drones are coming out. It looks like it has evened up just a little bit. But Murs is way ahead on that tech path as he already has his factories out. No Leo coming out. We don't have speed even done. We have speed just started along with a Banley's Nest for Mondragon. Mondragon is floating off an overlord here to see if these rocks are going down. As I mentioned earlier, it can be fairly tough to hold off the tans if they go up and around. Roach one now coming in down from Mondragon to try to wall this area off, preventing Hellions from just running by it. Looks like this opening is just slightly though, so Hellions will be able to sneak through that one crevice, but not in a huge pack. Those Spine Claws will get a few hits. We do have a few Lings out from Mondragon, just making sure Moz isn't poking out. And where are these Lings going? Maybe just going to Banelings uh, Banelings fairly soon. Getting a lot of Lings. And still just on this hatchery tech. I think he's going to just go for a bailing bust and try to end the game now. We do have Plating Nighters just about finished with four Hellions. Lots of bailings are morphing. And we have three bunkers for, from Murs being thrown down. Didn't really have any scans. Does he know about that bailing's nest? I uh, don't believe so. No, he does not know about it. And we have... Looks like 12 bailings out. 13 now. 13 is enough to take out a barracks. Four more coming down. We do have Stim about halfway done, so his minions cannot run away easily. But, well, they are already split up. Murs is thinking ahead. Has an idea this is coming. Going to lift up his barracks. And, oh, this could be bad for those Hellions. Are they going to get caught? And they can't get back in the base. They're going to run into a corner where these Banelings are just going to deal a lot of damage to the Hellions. And now they're going to attack that bunker. Banelings are in, but the Marines are split. And what do we have for an army? Just the, uh... 17 uh, work, uh, Zerglings versus the 10 Marines, 1 tank, and 1 Hellion. I believe Murs can easily hold this off. We have this bunker burning to the ground. Those SCVs make it there just in time. 1 Hellion was actually left. The Zerglings do take it out. All the Marines do get out of the bunkers and try to stop these links from taking out the tech lab as that Stim is still researching. We do have 4 Banelings. Is this going to stop Stim? I don't know. This is going to be really close. Stim is on the way down. It has about 20 seconds left. Banelings going and takes it out just in time. No Stim. From Murs, that is actually a huge, huge setback and a stop those minions from moving out, but Mondragon still doesn't have any layers building, so he's not going to be able to get that speed upgrade for those Banelings, so the Marines can kind of move out. Non-speed Marines are okay against non-speed Banelings. Or non-stemmed Marines, I guess I should say. Overlord coming out here for Vision. Mo Moon, uh, Mondragon may get the Roaches to attack these tanks, but maybe he's just going to go... Oh, wow, the scan is going down. What does it see? Uh, sees the roaches going here. He may have an idea. Roaches falling back. Tries to, uh, faint away from that. Or maybe a SCV was coming and Mondragon doesn't want to say, Hey, I'm only on hatch tech still. As his lair is about halfway done. His rocks did not quite go down. Look at this overlord spread from Mondragon. Can pretty much see everything that's going on. He stopped attacking his rocks because he does see Murs is now attacking them. Is going to come in with the Roaches possibly and start attacking these Barracks as well. Not too many tanks here. One Overlord will see this one tank. Roach is going to get a pretty much free kill on that. The Marines falling back. This Tech Lab going down yet again. That's, as I said, how you wall off. If he spawned on the 3 o'clock base, that Tech Lab would be on the inside of his wall and would not be picked off. And he would have Stim Packs done. And looks like we may kind of have a base trade as tanks are sieging up. Slow pushing this natural, or maybe not slow pushing, they just go straight into it. And we do have, it looks like, Mondragon backing off to try to take out these Marines. Don't know if they will, those Banelings do not have speed. And those Marines, well, they don't have stim, but there are four tanks. Not sure if the Banelings will get there just in time. They may, though. There's Roaches now attacking the tanks, and Banelings, yes, do take out all of the uh, Marines. There's 
Bailey's also taken out a lot of SCVs. The hatchery did go down, and Zergling's now joining. They can't kill those tanks off. Going to the Wooka kill count, Mondragon has killed eight SCVs. Moose has killed only five. But uh, it does look like Moses has killed a lot more in units. Going to this food count, 71 food for the Zerg player, 90 for the Terran. Doesn't really have anything to take out these siege tanks. Does have that layup, does have three bases, but now Moz is going on his third base. Few roaches are coming, Banelings and Lings, but they are just funneled up all together. Takes out one of the tanks, but we still have a lot of Marines and more tanks. Mondragon does GG out of that. Moz takes game number one, so first victory is going for Team Dignitas.